Hey guys, so in today's video I'm doing a Halloween haul. I just got back from town and bought a few bits so I thought I would do a video and show you what I got. Um, the stuff I got in this video is actually from two separate hauls. Um, one from like a week or so ago and then the stuff that I bought today. So I'm just going to jump straight in and show you what I got. So first off I'm going to start off with the stuff that I bought from TK Maxx. Um, which I think is the same, well it's HomeSense, but it's the same as TK Maxx, which I think is the same as TJ Maxx in the US or something like that. But the things I bought are, first off I bought this um, massive, heavy, I think it's glass, um, red skull. So I really like these, they had black ones, they had white ones and then the red ones, I really like the red one, so I picked it up. And I'm actually using this as, I've got plants in my flat, in my lounge, and I'm using this as like a little plant pot, which I really like. It's really heavy duty. I think this was around £10, so yeah, that's the first thing I got. Oh, I still got the label, yeah, it was £10. The next things I got from TK Maxx was a couple of snow globes. Um, I got these because, as I said in previous videos, it's my... Um, wedding this month so I thought I'd pick these up to go with the wedding maybe to have next to my wedding cake you shake them and it's got black um, little black flecks inside and it's a bride and a groom and it just says love never dies with a white base I get these every year from Home Sense and TK Maxx um, I've got, I absolutely love um, horror snow globes, I have a little collection of them. Normally the ones I buy are the music bo box ones, so like they have a little music bit underneath and you can turn it. These ones don't, I just like them because they were kind of wedding themed. can't remember how much it was, I think I pulled the tag off. Oh this one was £15, so and they're really great quality, um, I really love these. And the second one I got is similar but a little bit different. This one looks a little bit vintage. It's still got the black flecks inside, um, but it's in a different stand. And inside, the bride and groom just look a little bit more, yeah, a little bit more vintage and old-fashioned and sweet. So yeah, that's my little haul from TK Maxx. Um, I might go back there and pick up a few bits in the next coming weeks. Um, they always have some really nice stuff. The next bits I'm going to show you are all from like Poundland or Poundworld or B&M, so I'll get straight into it. From B&M, I didn't pick up much this year, I mean normally I go in there and they have loads of stuff, but a lot of the shops in the UK at the minute, they seem to have just completely skipped Halloween and have gone straight to Christmas, which is really disappointing because normally, especially like in the cheaper stores like the Poundworlds and Poundlands and stuff like that, they're normally really good, but this year there's just literally nothing. Like I went into one store called QDs, which is like a discount store. Normally they've got loads of cool Halloween stuff, just cheap fun, you know, fun things. But literally there's like maybe one stand of bit rubbishy Halloween stuff and the rest is all Christmas. So that's kind of disappointing. So I just kind of picked up what I could. So from B&M, um, I just got two candles. Um... They say Halloween candles. One is vanilla pumpkin, and these are two ninety nine each, and they're double wick. I've already burnt this one, and I'm actually really impressed because I burnt it for quite a long time, quite a few hours, and you know I still got quite a lot of it left. So that was pretty impressive. They seem to be quite slow burning. So vanilla pumpkin, I really like that scent. I love anything vanilla scented, and pumpkin pecan waffle which was a bit different. We don't really get anything pumpkin scented or pumpkin flavoured in the UK. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd give this a go. This is really nice. It's a bit warmer. So really happy with them. Then I went to Wilkinson's and I just picked up um, some treats. I saw these. Wilkinson's do always have nice Halloween stuff actually. They have good costumes. They had lots of like tableware and stuff. I just have no room for. They have this amazing massive glass pumpkin which had like a tap on it so you could use it as like a drink dispenser. That was really cool. Um, but I just picked up these Halloween butterscotch toffee crunch biscuits. They're really nice. I've had two already. They're not that sweet but they're very crunchy so they're nice and I love biscuits and those are £3. I also picked up 
from Wilkinson's and um, this ice cube tray. Let me take it out of the packaging. It's really nice, it's orange and it's just like a little ice cube tray um, with skull and crossbones. And I picked this up obviously to make ice cubes, but also I thought when I make little cakes, little pop cakes or um, chocolates, I could use this as a little mould. So yeah, I bought that. Then uh, one random thing from Primark when I went up there last week. I found this really cool Halloween tote bag. I really like this. I think it's a really cute print. It's just little ghosts and pumpkins. Really like that and it has like long orange handles. So I'm pleased with that. I really like that. Um, from Poundland I bought this skull. Um, it's like a little tea light holder. They actually have some really nice tea light holders in there. They've got um, like pumpkin ones and other skeleton ones that I might go back and pick up. But it's just like this cute little sugar skull and then you pop the tea light candle in the back. So I like that. And I also bought some gel stickers. Now, I buy these every year to decorate my flat with. Um, they're just a bit of fun. You can stick them up against your window. And it's just like a nice little decoration really. So I have this one and it has uh, three bats and three pumpkins. So it's got happy pumpkins. So you just peel them off the, off the plastic backing and then pop them on the window. And they, they stay there. They're really good. Um, so yeah, I bought that one. And then from Pound World, I bought a one that says Happy Halloween, more gel stickers. It's just orange and um, purple and green, nice Halloween colours. So it's just Happy Halloween and it's got two pumpkins on the end, so I like that. They will be going up on my window. Also from um, Pound World, I got some socks, and these in the Halloween section, they just say... Um, scary socks and I bought these because they're long socks and as it comes near to winter I wear my Doc Martens quite a lot and my Doc Martens are mid calf ones and it's, they're just so much more comfortable to wear if you wear long socks with them so I thought these are these are cheap and they're fun they'll do and I got these are all neon so these are neon orange doesn't really come off on my camera because my camera's really crappy but yeah these are like proper neon orange and I've then got some neon green ones which I really like and some neon pink ones so yeah just a pack of three socks and of course pound world so they're a pound each that's not too bad and I also bought um, where did I get these from I got these from Morrison's um, these are just some round tree randoms spooky mix I got these for my partner because I'm actually a vegetarian so I don't eat jelly sweets but he loves them so I picked him up some of these and they have you know, little skulls, spiders, ghosts, pumpkin, and bats. So just like different flavoured jelly sweets, kind of shaped in um, Halloween theme. So yeah. Now the last bits that I've got that I'm going to show in these in this haul are all um, horror <laughs> DVDs. Now the first three I have are from CEX, which is the um, shop I've talked about before where I get like secondhand um, DVDs. The first one I picked up is I Am Legend and I got this for 50p. I've already seen this. I saw this at the cinema with my sister when this first came out and I've seen it since. Great film. Um, I can't wait, can't wait to um, re-watch it. It's kind of, um, I would say it's kind of a virus zombie film but it's very good. I'll be doing a review on that at some point. I also got Wreck, this is the first one, I have seen this again, um, but I've got the other two on DVD and I didn't have this one and I want to do like a three film review um, of this kind of movie trilogy if you will. So again this is kind of like um, zombies, it's on, the Wreck ones are what they're called, like found footage kind of filmed um, on handheld cameras but they're really great films and I haven't seen this one in a very long time so can't wait to see that and the next one is old boy the Korean version which is the original version again I have seen this film I've seen this film a few times it's very twisted very creepy very sick and um, I picked this up for £2.50 I'll be doing a review on this as well um, yeah I haven't seen the American version and I've heard it's actually not that bad but 
I think the originals are always the best and as I said I've seen this one before and it's a fantastic film um, highly recommend it if you like Korean films the next films that I picked up these were actually all from Poundland so all these films, all the, these DVDs were also a pound some I've seen, some I haven't so I'm just going to quickly go through them the first one is Lizzie Bowden starring uh, Christine Ricci and to be honest I bought it just because she's in it and I love her as an actress um, Christina Ricci, sorry and I don't know much about this one I haven't really heard anything about it um, I think it's just this the girl on the front cover she, obviously Lizzie, she gets accused of murdering someone and have to find out whether she did it or not it says it's like a good girl gone bad kind of story so yeah, don't know too much about it looking forward to it though the next one is Black Widow behind the door there are, behind the door there are secrets she wants to be left alone so from this one I think there was a couple and they go away for um, a weekend retreat kind of thing but the house next door is a derelict school and there was a massacre there um, the only survivor is still there and wants to be left alone and has gone a little bit crazy and I'm guessing they go into this um, boarded up school to try and find out what's going on and shit goes down um, <laughs> the next one is called The Facility I think I've seen this I'm pretty sure I've seen this on Netflix and if it's the film that I'm thinking it is then I did enjoy it but it's basically at a remote at a remote medical facility a group of seven strangers begin, begin a clinical trial of experimental new drug called Pro9 as an untested drug begins to course through their veins unexpected side effects start to take hold and several of the volunteers are sent into an uncontrollable murderous rage so yeah I'm pretty sure I have seen this and if I have then if this is what I'm thinking of then it is good so I'm going to definitely rewatch that one the next one I haven't seen is called Dark House by the directors of Jeepers Creepers um, few shall enter none shall leave um, again I think this is an asylum one where some people go into asylum and there's a crazy person <laughs> trying to kill them I think I don't know anything about this one to be honest I just picked it up because it sounded good um, I like Jeepers Creepers so it's from the same directors as them it also stars the guy from the Saw movies he's on the back there so could be interesting and the next one sorry is The Bone Collector I have seen this um, this is based on a book from one of my favourite authors, Jeffrey Deaver. I think I spoke about him before on this channel. Um, this is his most famous book, obviously, because it's made into a film, The Bone Collector. It's about um, a criminologist, um, played by, is it Denzel Washington? Yeah, played by Denzel Washington, and he's a criminologist, but he's also a paraplegic, and he's a very, very smart guy, and it's in, what the, I can't remember her name now the character I can't remember the woman's character that's gonna really annoy me I think it's Amelia I think the cop played by Angelina Jolie I'm pretty sure her name is Amelia and she kind of teams up with him and he kind of talks her through how to go um, how to walk a crime scene and they kind of figure this out together about this guy who is chopping people up so that's really good, I highly recommend that film actually. The next film is Girl House, again haven't um, seen anything about this one. I think from it says on the back the gist is that some girls, um, to make extra money they decide to become webcam girls and then this guy becomes obsessed with them and starts chasing them around, I'm guessing a hotel with a mask on. So yeah, just like a silly... Um, horror slasher th film the next one I bought is um, Dead of the Night but Night spelt differently I think it's supposed to be some kind of creature film um, this one looks like it's going to be the most low budget out of all of them but that's ok because sometimes low budget films can still be good can still be a bit of fun again don't know anything about it uh, team of paranormal 
a team of uh, sorry a team of ghost hunters um basically go and try and investigate this house and stuff happens and the last film is pathology this is about medical students um medical student with a promising future in forensics he joins this pathology program and this um ends up being a pawn in a terrifying game of death destruction so yeah some basically scary medical kind of movie <laughs> so yeah don't really know too much about most of these films but i'm excited to watch them and then i can do reviews on them um i hope you guys enjoyed this video that's all i have to say and um, that's everything that i bought i may be doing another one soon if i collect enough halloween stuff i'll see how it goes but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. If you have any recommendations about these films, if you've seen any of them, um, which one you think I, su I should watch first, then let me know. Because I don't know too much about some of these. Some I've seen, some I haven't. So yeah, that's all I have to say. So thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye guys.